Today on the Technology Guy, we're going to take a look at the Foscam W41 2K webcam. Technology Thanks for watching the Technology Guy. Foscam has a new for 2021 2K webcam, the W41. We're going to do a comparison between the new Foscam W41 and the Logitech C920. First, let's do a quick unboxing of the W41 and then we will look at the specs, compare those specs to that of the C920, and then look at some real world comparisons using Zoom to see which one looks the best and see if the $35 Foscam W41 with 2K support will stand up to the Logitech 1080p C920. So let's get this unboxed. So there you have it, quick and easy. First, let's take a brief look at the specs, compare those to the C920, and see which one, you know, on paper, should perform best. Before we get to those specs, if you like the videos, please subscribe, turn on your notifications, share it with a friend. If you like the video, please give me the thumbs up. If you hate the video, give me a thumbs down. Now let's get on to those specs. The Foscam W41 supports 2K video at 30 frames per second and 1080p video at 60 frames per second compared to the Logitech's 1080p and 720p both at 30 frames per second. The W41 has an 84 degree viewing angle compared to the C920 78 degrees. Both have built-in stereo mics with the W41 claiming to have business grade noise reduction whatever business grade means. The W41 has a fixed focus while the C920 supports autofocus. The W41 has a built-in privacy cover. And while you, you can get that on the C920, the C920S, I think it does cost a little bit more, but you do, can get it that way with the flip down cover on the Logitech. So on paper, all the specs on the W41, with the exception of it not having autofocus, say that it should be a better camera, at least in terms of the microphone, detail, field of view. Let's take a look at recording straight from Zoom to see how the W41 is going to stack up against one of those tried and true best-selling webcams that, that's currently available. Let's do this as kind of an A-B test I'll play recorded Zoom videos without saying which camera it is, so there's no preconceived notions that the name brand Logitech with the long history is going to be the best because of its reputation, or that the specs that the false cam shows on paper says that it's going to be best. You can just look at them and decide for yourself which one you like the best. What's on the spec sheet doesn't always translate, or a lot of the times, doesn't translate into which one's actually going to have the best performance. This is camera A. This is recorded with Zoom so that you can have a real world example of what the camera is going to look like and sound like. I'm doing nothing to correct the video or boost or edit any audio. The only changes I've made are in Zoom, which are my default settings, which is to turn off, touch up my appearance and also turn off adjust for low light. I'm approximately two feet away from the camera. So let me know in comments what you think about the audio and video for camera A and which camera that you think it is. I'm gonna be quiet for a moment so that you can listen for any background noise. And now I'm gonna do just a little bit of typing so you can hear what that sounds like. So there's camera A, now we're gonna go over to camera B and let's just see what you think about it. Okay, so now we're on camera B. Again, recorded in Zoom. I just paused, changed the mic and video settings, and then restarted recording. All settings are, are the same in Zoom. Nothing, again, nothing is adjusted or edited. Just let me know in the comments which camera you think this is and what you think about the audio and video. So now I'm gonna be quiet for this one, let you listen to the background noise from it.
And now I'll do a little bit of typing so you can compare that. So I have my opinions about both of these webcams, but tell me what you think in the comments. So we are now back to camera A. And if you said it was the Foscam W41, then you are correct. And again, this is a $35 2K camera, which right now on Amazon, there are some coupon codes for, I think as of the recording of this video, there's a 20% off. So you can get it for a little bit less. So if you think that it's just a little sharper than the Logitech, then you and I, we're kind of seeing the same thing. I think it's a little bit sharper. What I don't like about the Foscam is the colors. I don't think the color representation is as accurate as the Logitech. I think it's, the Logitech's a little bit softer on focus, but I think it does a little bit better with color. So let's switch to camera B, which is the Logitech, and just let you let you hear that again and, and do a little bit more comparison. So now we are back on camera B, which as I already said is the Logitech C920. And that's a $70 camera, so it's twice as much as the Foscam. So do you think the Logitech is twice the camera as the Foscam? Do you think it's doing that much better of a job? Or do you think the Foscam is better? I've had this webcam for a while, but I rarely use any webcams. I, I just think it's too soft to, on focus. Again, I think the colors are more accurate than the Foscam, but ne neither of these cameras blow me away. Okay, so let's do one more little comparison between these two cameras. And I know, you know, this is supposed to be a review of the Foscam W41, but if you're going to do a review of a webcam, you kind of got to compare it to, I guess, one of the industry standard webcams. So top left, Logitech C920, bottom right, Foscam W41. And honestly, the more I more I look at this camera, the W41, for the price, the, the more I like it. And I do think the audio is better than on the Logitech. So right now, the audio that you're listening to is running through a dynamic mic connected to the Rodecaster. So it should be a little bit better quality audio than you're going to be getting on either of these two webcams. But they're, neither are bad and... Really, that Foscam really isn't bad at all. So let's switch over to the Logitech. And I'm also going to do some, you know, be quiet during part of it so you can hear any background noise. See, you know, if the noise cancellation of that W41 is as good as they're wanting to claim that it is. So here we go. So this is the Logitech C920. So audio and video both coming from that webcam. So let's be quiet and see what that sounds like. And now let's switch over to the Foscam W41. And this is audio and video both coming through the W41. So we'll stay silent and check the background noise for it. And now we're back to looking at both of them. And again, audio is going through a dynamic mic. So you know, I don't think either of these are a bad choice if you're trying to do a little bit of an upgrade from your internal camera and your laptop, especially if you have an older laptop that has a, you know, a 720p camera, which I think most laptops do. But I don't think either are a bad choice. And for the price, the, the Foscam is kind of growing on me a little bit. It's not great, but yeah, like I said, it, it's growing on me. So that's it. A quick comparison between the new Foscam W41 and the been around a long time Logitech C920. I do think that the Foscam is doing a great job at just $35. Now, one advantage that Logitech cameras have is their ability to do some manual adjustments. And those adjustments can carry over into your video conferencing app. So you can, you can make those cameras look a little bit better than just plugging them in. You just can't do that with Foscam. What you see is what you get straight out of the box. I think if they did give these Foscam cameras some manual controls, you you could probably make them look pretty nice. 
I do much prefer the audio on the Foss Cam, and I think it does a slightly better job of handling background noise. For me, it, it was doing a better job at least a little bit. But that's my opinion on it. So let me know in the comments which camera do you prefer. Thanks again for watching The Technology Guy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.